Hi, I'm Chef Catherine in the Growing Chefs Ontario Classroom Kitchen. For our July monthly kids cooking class, we are featuring some very delicious recipes, all featuring berries that are ripe in summer. We get our strawberries in the summer from our favorite strawberry farmers, Heeman's Garden Centre and Berry Farm. They have many different varieties that ripen all the way from May to September. These lovely strawberries I'm cooking with today are a variety called Wendy. Wendy is so sweet, plump, juicy, and very tasty. Strawberry shortcake is a recipe that goes back to English cookbooks in the 1500s. The combination of strawberries, sweetened cream, and biscuits is a classic that you can't go wrong with. These cookies combine all of those flavors and textures in a great little cookie package that is perfect for taking as a treat to go on a picnic. Before we begin cooking, check that you have your mise en place and have read through the recipe. The first thing that I'm gonna do for the cookies is prepare the cream cheese mixture, which is going to go into the center of them. For that, I have my cream cheese that I'm gonna place into a bowl here with about three tablespoons of icing sugar. The next thing that I need to do is just to remove all of the zest from the lemon with this rasp and mix it in with the icing sugar and the cream cheese. So I'll grate and turn, making sure not to grate too deeply, otherwise we'll get that white part, the pith, which is a little bit bitter. Now with my wooden spoon, I'm just going to mix this mixture all together. It helps if your cream cheese is a little bit softened before. So if you leave it out on the counter for maybe about 20 minutes, half an hour. Then after this, when it's all mixed together, we can pop it back in the fridge just to cool it off a little bit more so it's easier to work with. My next step is I'm gonna dice about one cup of strawberries. For this, I'll just remove the stem and place the strawberries with the flat side down on the cutting board. And I wanna cut them into pieces that are about one centimeter approximately. I'll leave one here as a guide and then I can just dice up the rest. I have my one cup of strawberries diced. I'm going to take my leaven and cut it in half and then I'm going to squeeze as much of the juice as possible, just catching the seeds with my hands here as I go, right over top of my strawberries. And to this, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of sugar and just mix it around slightly. This is going to do something called macerate the strawberries. And what that means is it's gonna to begin to soften them and help them to release all their juices. So we'll end up with some strawberry juice in the bottom of the bowl that we're gonna strain out. I'm gonna leave this now for 10 minutes. While we wait for our strawberries to macerate in the bowl over here, I'm gonna to put together the cookie dough. So to start with, we're gonna to cream together our butter, and some white sugar and some brown sugar. I'm gonna beat this with a stand mixer paddle attachment. If you don't have a stand mixer at home, I'd recommend that you would make this with an electric mixer instead. I'm gonna mix this for about two to three minutes until my butter and my sugar are nice and fluffy. Make sure your butter is softened before, otherwise the step will take a lot longer. If you find that the mixture is sticking to the edges of the bowl, just use a silicone spatula and push it off of the sides of the bowl. Our sugar and butter mixture is creamed together nicely, so I'm gonna add my one teaspoon of vanilla and one egg. When I add the egg though, I'm gonna crack it into the bowl, not directly into the mixture. This way, if I get a shell, and it's gonna go into the bowl and not into my cookie dough. So now I'll just turn on the mixer again and mix it for about another two minutes until it's really nice and fluffy. So our butter, sugar, eggs and vanilla have creamed together very nicely. It doesn't look granular anymore and you can see that it's certainly increased in volume. So now I'm ready to add in our dry ingredients. I'm going to add the salt into my flour as well as the baking powder 
and I'll just give it a little stir around just to mix everything together. And then I'm going to add those dry ingredients all at once into my wet ingredients. I'll put it back on the stand mixer and I'm going to mix it until it is just combined. It's very important not to over mix at this point, otherwise you'll end up with really dense cookies and we don't want dense cookies. Our cookie doughs come together nicely. You can see that it's a little bit crumbly still. That's good, we haven't over mixed it. Next, we're gonna add in the strawberries and we're gonna finish mixing it together. So I have just a fine mesh strainer. I'm gonna strain out all the juice that's been released from these strawberries and a bit of that lemon juice too. And then only the strawberries I'm gonna add back into our cookie dough here. Make sure that you don't throw away this juice here. This is a delicious chef's snack. And if you mixed it with some sparkling water, you would have a very yummy strawberry soda. So to incorporate these strawberries slowly into our dough, I'm just going to fold it gently um, so that it all comes together, trying not to break up the strawberry pieces too much. There we go. And for the rest of it, with my hands, I'm just going to push it together to form a dough. And when you're working with cookie dough, if it's warm, it's a little bit more hard to work with. So just like the cream cheese mixture, I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for about 20 minutes, just to let it firm up a bit. Our cream cheese mixture has been sitting in the fridge, so it's gonna be a lot easier to work with now. What we wanna do is divide this into about 12 pieces, because we're aiming for 12 cookies, and we're just gonna roll it into balls. And this is going to be the center of our strawberry shortcake cookies, an ooey gooey, delicious cream cheese filling. I'm just using a tablespoon right now. It looks like that's gonna be a little bit too much, but that's okay. I can just take a little bit from each one and divide it further afterwards. So this part can be a little bit messy, but don't worry, we can wash your hands afterwards. I'm just gonna pick up the balls and gently roll them in my hands to make circles. After we've done this for all 12 balls, again, we're just gonna place it back in the fridge so when we go to work with it, it's a lot cooler and easier to handle. Our cookie dough has been chilling in the fridge for about 20 minutes. So now I have just a portion scoop here that I'm gonna to use to help me separate it. I need to divide it in half and then each half needs to get about 12 pieces out of it because we need a top and a bottom for each cookie. So again, this will be a little bit messy. Don't worry about getting your hands dirty. We're just gonna roughly divide it into 12. And then we can go back and adjust it afterwards. I have 24 small balls here. I say they're a little bit larger than a tablespoon each. I'm just going to again, take each ball and just roll it and flatten it slightly. After this, I'll put it back in the fridge one more time so it's a little bit easier to work with. Our cookie batter, and our cream cheese balls have cooled down quite a bit and they're so much easier to work with when they're chilled. So this is a little tricky, but it's very fun. It's kind of like making a pupusa, if you've ever made a pupusa before. Um, so the idea is that we're going to just push out the cookie dough and we're going to sandwich the cream cheese in the middle and then on top, I'm going to again, push out the cookie dough. The strawberries might split a little bit, but that's okay. So the idea is in the end, your cream cheese is going to go into the middle and you can just kind of roll it so that you have a round ball or round-ish ball. If the strawberries are poking out a little bit, don't worry about that too much. The cream cheese might ooze it a little bit too when it's baking, but basically you just wanna to try to seal it up as much as you can and then put this onto a baking sheet. So I'll do that one more time here. Just pushing it out a little bit 
and putting in one of the cream cheese balls into the center and then flattening this top a bit more and bringing them together. If you find that they're getting a little bit too warm, because it is summer, um, what I recommend is just to bring them out a couple at a time. These cookies will also spread a little bit when you're cooking them. So I recommend to put about six on a baking sheet. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and these are going to cook for about 15 minutes. Check them after 12 minutes. The edges should be golden brown. Our strawberry shortcake cookies are done baking. They're nice and beautifully golden all over. And if I break into the center, they have an ooey gooey cream cheese crust. They're still a little bit warm, so let them cool before you're eating them. But these are such a treat. And make sure that you make them with local delicious strawberries.